I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back, Robins. Happy Monday. We are glad that you are back for the beginning of week four. Week four. Do you know what that means? Progress reports go home next week. What? There is a lot happening next week that I want to put on your radar because you need to give your parents the heads up. First of all, no school next Monday. Then on Tuesday, seniors homecoming tickets go on sale for you only. You get first dibs at homecoming tickets Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. And then next Friday is early release day. So many things happening. Then everybody else will be able to start purchasing homecoming tickets for the dance the following week. I believe that is September 12th. So let your parents know this week because that's $25 a ticket. Remember, in order to be eligible to go to the homecoming dance, you have to have a 2.0 cumulative GPA, not current grades, not weighted, unweighted cumulative GPA. We've already talked multiple times, class meetings, open house, about the importance of that cumulative GPA. It determines eligibility for sports. It determines eligibility for school events like dances and also clubs. Speaking of clubs, you will also have a club fair next week. So, so many things on the horizon coming up, but you first got to take care of your academics. So make sure you get into your Skyward today. If you have any missing assignments, I need for you to start working on those getting that stuff turned in so that your progress reports can be the most up-to-date, best possible grades possible when they go home next week. Good morning, everyone. The only announcement I have is that today we have another volleyball game and I'm your admin in supervision tonight again. (laughs) So we'd love to see you at 5 p.m. That's when our JV starts and we're against the Treasure Coast. Our cheering section was absolutely phenomenal last week and our volleyball lady Brahmins dominated the court. I would love to see that again. Remember to be as encouraging as we can to our other team while also making sure that we lift up our lady Brahmins. Other than that, you guys have a fabulous day. Good morning. So I am still getting notes Um, Not so nice phone calls from businesses around Okeechobee High School that we are parking where we're not supposed to be parking. So heads up, if you are one of those people parking in those areas, there's a chance your car gets towed. We're not supposed to do that, but I'm just giving you a heads up because they are calling and they're angry. Just letting you know. And just a heads up on homecoming tickets. Um, yes, you will be, if you meet the guidelines for homecoming, um, you will be eligible to go. Our guidelines are a little bit different because um, the majority of you do not yet have an established high school GPA. That will happen at the end of first semester. So that's not something we will look at before we sell you a ticket. However, we will check your fines and fees. So if you owe money for Chromebooks, Chromebook damages from the past, any of those things, those have to be paid before you purchase homecoming tickets. So if you are, if you know you didn't turn in a Chromebook last year, or you know you have damages that would have been in there from the past, please know we will not sell you a ticket until those amounts are settled up. That is high school policy, all grades, not just freshmen. So I wanted to explain that so so you're not shocked if you've lost a Chromebook when you step in line and they tell you they won't sell you a ticket until it's paid for. Um, so go ahead and have those conversations with your parents right now if you need to, if you're planning on going to the homecoming dance, because that is the dance for freshmen. Um, you cannot go to prom unless later in the year, unless you have a junior or senior invite. So that's the formal event that freshmen are allowed to attend um, this year. Also, um, zeros. I'm just going to talk, throw that out there. You're going to hear that a lot from all of us, but if you want your progress reports to be where they need to be, you've got to take care of your zeros. So get in Skyward, 
see what you have missing, ask your teachers if those things can still be turned in and get those taken care of. Um, progress reports are not this week, they're next week. So you have a little bit of time, but now is the time to take action on that. Ms. Shirley. All right, um, no news here today, other than again, just a big reminder about this lost and found, it's still huge. Please come get your stuff. Other than that, have a wonderful Monday. All right, tonight is our first school advisory council meeting here on main campus. I sent an invite out to all of the student governing boards for that sophomores, juniors, and seniors. We would love to have student representation from each class tonight that is going to begin at 530 in the media center. We'd love to see you there. All right, make it a good one as together we move forward. Be great. And be Brahmins. All day. day. Hey sophomores, it's your governing board. My name's Taylor Whipple. I'm Alton Escona. My name's Edith Ramirez. I'm Island. I'm Shelby Cusman. As we all know, homecoming is right around the corner. So make sure you sign up for the Team Reach using the code down below so you can stay up to date with everything we're doing. We hope to see you at Float Building on September 20th. Thank you.